Hi beauties, I am super duper excited because uh, finally we've gotten all of our subscription service boxes in. The last one showed up today and it was our standard Ipsy bags. So here we are with Ipsy versus Ipsy, the standard edition. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping in. Ipsy versus Ipsy is when I take my, when is it? that's mine. I take my mother's subscription and I take my subscription of Ipsy. Uh, we both have the standard and the plus. I unbox them together. I pick out which one is my favorite bag as a whole. And then I choose my top five favorite products from the 10 that we received in our two boxes. And I make the ideal bag. I am excited about this month. This, my plus I really, really liked. I was once again, got two palettes and I was super jazzed about that. I'm, in, I'm liking the direction they're going towards. So I'm excited. I did add a couple add-ons this month. I added, I know I added a brush and I think I added a serum of some sort from stem cell beauty I think uh, I'll show you guys those as well but other than that let's start I always start with moms it's just it's just tradition at this point so here we go this is mom's bag um she didn't she did all of her add-ons on the plus she added like a hundred dollars on her plus so she, hers is just a nice little tiny bag mine's the thick one this month he's the he's the thick boy all right first things first the bags I love the bags I talked about it with the plus oh I didn't even see this. So love the texture of them. And then on the back, it says your magic. I love that. I'm really hoping that they have leftovers of the, the premium bag after like in November and I'm going, I will buy it. I, I don't care. They could be like, it's gonna be 20 bucks. I'd be like, yep, take my money. I want this set. I love the design of the bags and November's bag is a really cute too. So I'm excited about that as well. Funny, I didn't remember what I chose cause I always do choose my customization option and then I don't check spoilers for the rest of it. Like I don't, send, when they send me the email, it's like, this is what you got. I never look at that. I just choose my customization, but I didn't remember what I did this month. And then I, my mom, got it too. She didn't choose it, but she received it in her bag and I just pulled it out and now I remember. Let's start with that, I guess, since I talked about it. Um, so this is the Miss, no, the SL, sorry, the SL Miss Glam Round Blush P40 brush. I can't read today or do anything. I'm not good at existing right now. This is the brush. Um, this is what I chose. I love, I think it's, is it, I don't know. I don't, if somebody can tell me how to pronounce it, I, it's like SL Miss Glam. It's all one word. Slimis. SL Miss Glam, I don't know, whatever. I love the brand though. They're some of my favorite brushes. I've gotten several eyeshadow brushes from them. My pink highlight brush is from them. I actually opted to get this. I know that it says it's a blush brush. I will probably wind up using it as um, a backup highlighter brush because I really love the pink one as a highlighter brush. It's the best one I found for highlighting. And yeah, so that's why I chose to get this. She didn't choose it, but she did get it in her bag as well. So, all right, moving along. I don't remember what she chose. I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember at all what she chose. All right, we do have a breakdown of the products in this little guy right here this time, which is exciting. So the first thing she has is the It Lash Blowout little nice mascara. I love it cosmetics. And actually I was complaining about getting mascaras really frequently and I know my mom was too, but we haven't seen one in a few months. So I love it. And yeah, I'm not going to open it. I don't want to like mess with her. I don't like to open that when it's all sealed up nicely. So I don't know what the wand looks like, but yeah, I like it. And I think that's a good product. Huh? Then she has a pistache skincare pistachio oil body butter. Interesting. I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know how she's gonna feel about this. She definitely uses like uses like body stuff more than I do, like body creams and things like that. I just am not really. I don't really do it ever. Like I have so many of them, and I just I, once or twice I'm like I'm gonna really like treat myself today and let's let's moisturize my whole body. But like normally I don't. It's just. So I don't know, I don't. I wouldn't personally much care to get that, but I, she might like that, so. All right, next thing we have is from The Bomb. It is the Will Powder Blush. And it's also, it's actually also been a while since we've seen stuff from The Bomb. There was a good long run. We were getting stuff from them, re oh, really pretty, really regularly. This is honestly, um, it's definitely a blush shade because it's dark, but it's got this like very nice sheen to it. It could almost be a highlighter. I don't think I'm brave enough to do that, but I think maybe it, it could work. And especially on the right skin tone, it could work as a highlighter as well. Really pretty shade though. I absolutely love that. I think she's gonna really like that as well. All right, and the final thing she got, I believe this is what she chose. This is the Oriza Beauty. Oh no, it's, all right, I'm gonna have to pop this one so we can look at the eyeshadow, sorry mom. Um, the Oriza Beauty Astral Amethyst Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. It's a nice little eyeshadow quad and I 
I did think about getting this. I'm not gonna lie, you guys know normally I will go for the eyeshadows, but I opted not to, oh yeah, pretty, lots of pretty shades, pretty decent pan sizes too, considering it's such a small palette. But the reason I opted not to get it is it was just a lot of dark color. Well, I say that one of them is very light, but it's mainly kind of dark colors. And three of them are shimmer and I just prefer to have heavier mattes. And I've chosen like little eyeshadow quads the past like three months and I was like, let's do something different this time. So that's why I didn't get it. Good bag. It's not my favorite from this year if I'm gonna, if I'm being honest, but it's not a bad bag. It's definitely worth your 12 bucks. I don't, and I don't know how she's gonna feel about it either if I'm being 100% honest. I'm interested to see what my bag looks like though. Oh no, he got smushed. Me. It's fine. So the one customization option I went with was this Juice, Be Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Serum. And it is supposed to basically go in there and fix any discolorations from acne scars or sunspots or, um, pimples or anything, which like, you know, that time of the month and I've got all these little damn pimples around my chin. So I, I literally, I saw it and I was like, I gotta get it. It was only $12. Juice Beauty is not a cheap brand. So I'm pretty excited about this. I was actually thinking it was gonna be smaller, but it's a really great size. I'm, I'm gonna start using this probably tomorrow just cause I really wanna know if it really does do what it says it's supposed to do, which is go in there and take out all those imperfections. So yeah, I'm excited about that one. And then, my other add-on, I showed this in my plus because I actually added one onto my plus as well. I just freaking love this brush. This is the Queen Blending Brush. I don't know the brand, but it's it looks like a freaking wand. Looks like a piece of crystal I could stab somebody with. I just loved it. Everything about it, I was like, this screams Halloween. It screams witch witchy vibes. I want it. So I got two of them. I added one to each bag. And it was only $3, so. All right, then we got my brush that I chose. So this is what I chose, this bad boy. And I, I'm really excited about it. I, I just really like the brand. I'm very, very jazzed about it. I love, they always have the beautiful little glitter, little glitter handles. And so it's just, they're aesthetically, they're beautiful. And I find that they work so well. So I, it's hard to not, it's hard to pass it up when that's an option given to me. There was a time not very long ago, I would have been like, I'm not ever choosing a brush. And now I've kind of, ch I've changed in a lot of ways. Now I choose skincare, I choose brushes. I've just, 2020's changed me, man. Bag, love, just gotta point it out, just love it. So we have the teeniest, tiniest little sample size of a tinted uh, moisturizer I've ever damn seen in my life. I don't, I think it would cover half my face cause my face is very large and round. So I'm thinking about half my face might get covered with this. I like the product. I, mm, it's tiny, it's real tiny though. Oh, what's this? It's broken now. What is this broken? <laughs> No, 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 it's fine. Okay, love this product though. This is from Essence. I really like Essence. I did their um, Witch Side eyeshadow palette review. This is the first like product of theirs that I used. It was like true makeup. I, mm, that sounds so stupid, true makeup. But like like a palette. I, I, mm, I've used like cheap eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, cheap eyebrow products before. Like the really like dollar pens and stuff like that just as like a filler in. And then I create shapes with something else. But I had never tried any of their like palettes or anything like that until I used the Witch Eye eyeshadow palette. And it's, I swear it's one of my favorites. It's amazing. So this is from Essence. That was what that long backstory was just to get us here. We all have grown from that experience. So this is the Pure Nude Highlighter from Essence. It's a very affordable brand, but that's like a full size and it is absolutely beautiful. I, I love it. I love golden highlighters. The one I'm wearing now is the Blissful one from Ofra and I just, I it's my favorite. I use it almost every day. So this is a really, really good addition to my collection. Um, I love that. I don't have anything like it. Oh, weird. Oh, that's crazy. Speaking of Ofra. I got a blush from them in the shade Rose. Okay, and also if, if it's Ofra, I'm sorry. I just have been calling it Ofra the whole time I've been using their products. I just can't stop now. So I always struggle with it. I know there's only one F, I, I, I know, I just. So it's not broken, but it is broken. Like, all right, ready, ready? It's fine, it's intact, right? But is it though? Is it though? That's like the crustiest, dustiest glue I've ever seen in my whole life. It doesn't matter. Although I don't know, looking at it, it kind of makes it matter a little bit. It's fine, it's fine. It's a beautiful color, very neutral. There is definitely some like, I, I'm just not gonna think about it too much. It'll be fine, I'll be fine, I'll live. But yeah, weird, right? But yeah, no, love that. So basically, basically, I'm gonna say, I bitched about the Marcuja oil being tiny. It was the first thing that so I saw it fell out of me. But I have to be honest, I've basically gotten a full-size highlighter, 
a full size blush, and then I've got my brush. And then I also got this really awesome little Smashbox Photo Finish Shine Oil and Shine Control Primer. Smashbox primers are some of my favorites. So that's a nice little one for traveling. Yeah, this is really tiny. It's Nobody's gonna dispute that. That's a really very, uh, very small sample size. But overall, it's a really good box. I can't complain too much about it. I'm happy with my bag. I'm not as happy with my mom's bag, if I'm being honest. I would definitely choose my bag over mom's. Yeah, they're hands down. Um, so let's figure out what are the top five products. I'm gonna say definitely the brush. I chose the brush. So we both got it, but I'm gonna put it in my bag because I chose it. The brush. I'm gonna go with the blush, even though it's a little concerning seeing all that like rusty glue, but it's, you know, we all have our issues, so. The blush from my bag, the essence highlighter from my bag. Then I would say I would probably go with, I actually think I would choose the It Mascara, as shocking as that sounds coming from me, and then I think I would choose the Smashbox Primer for my bag. I know I should choose the eyeshadow palette, but I just wasn't that into the colors, if I'm being honest. So yeah, four products from my bag. Honestly, the only thing that I really wasn't as jazzed as I wanted to be about would be that Marc Ruja oil because I think it's a good product. It's just tiny. Weird month. Good for me. Not as great for my mom. I don't know how she feels about it. I'm interested to see because she always just gives me her bag and then we unbox it. So I don't really get to talk to her about how she feels about it until after I bring down her products. And I'm like, this is what you got. And she's like, oh. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys got. I love doing this series because you guys always comment and tell me um, how you felt about the month. Did you like what you got or not? Like the video. That's, yeah, I like it. it. It helps us a ton. And that subscribe, so that way, when we start posting all of our Halloween videos, you can see them, because we're in the middle of Halloween. We're filming like crazy right now, and starting on Sunday, October 25th, we're going to be posting a new video every day with a very intricate Halloween makeup tutorial where I tell some sort of related story concerning Halloween or spooky stuff or something like that, so it's, it's a lot it's so much we are we've already filmed one this morning and then i wash it all off and then we put on makeup and now here we are so it's a lot but uh i'm really excited about it and i really would like you to be on the journey with us so definitely subscribe other than that i hope you guys are all safe healthy you have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist